With the Shadowlands Season 3 shortly coming to an end, it means it's time to give you guys one last look at the best compositions available to each class and spec inside 2v2. So if you're wanting to make a last minute push and squeeze out some rating, stay tuned because this one is for you. And if you're looking to gain 250 rating on your PvP journey, make sure you stay until the end as we show you all the sweet perks Skillcapped has to offer. Before we start though, we have one huge disclaimer. If we don't mention a comp in this video, it doesn't mean it's bad. We just try to be as efficient as possible by selecting what we believe to be the strongest comps for each spec in order to give you the best chance at reaching your rating goals. And of course, as it's 2v2, a lot of these comps will inevitably feature the same few healers. But regardless, we will still be making sure to give a couple of strong alternatives to provide you with more options. Starting off, we've got DKs, which have seen a massive resurgence in popularity. Due to their setup-based playstyle, Frost Death Knights prefer to play with a healer that can bring some form of stun, with the best option being Holy Priest, but Holy Paladins and Mist Weavers and even Restoration Druids all pose viable alternatives. Unholy, on the other hand, thrives in longer, more drawn-out games, so the best healer options are those that bring unrivaled healing output, the strongest of which currently being a Restoration Druid, but Mistweaver Monk also has proven to be a very dominant option. And of course, if you prefer shorter games, Holy Priest is still a good option thanks to the added damage and stuns. Moving on, our next class is Demon Hunter. Unfortunately, they haven't had exactly the best representation inside of 2s this season due to the large influx of both Outlaw and Survival Hunters, both of which provide very tough matchups. The best healer for a Demon Hunter remains to be a Restoration Shaman, which complements them perfectly, having double interrupts, double purge, and also a much needed slow. But quite honestly, you could have success with almost any healer as a Demon Hunter, two of the best options being Restoration Druid or Mistweaver Monk. One spec that we haven't seen much of in 2s for a few expansions now is Balance Druid, as they heavily lack the damage output to easily score kills outside of long cooldowns. That being said, the strength of Holy Priest can help combat some of these issues by offering added damage and also lockdown, and is the only healer we've seen Balance have somewhat success with. Alternatively, Balance is definitely more aimed toward double DPS comps, and even though it's not strongest, Balance Sub Rogue has had some rare showings at the highest ratings. Feral, on the other hand, is in a much better spot due to its high sustained damage, strong bursts, and just overall great survivability. It's this that makes Feral prefer more aggressive healers to partner up with. No surprises here, the strongest option being a Holy Priest, although Holy Paladin and even Disciplined Priest both provide very strong options. So we've come to our first healer on this list, Restoration Druid. Resto Druids in 2s can slot into two types of compositions, those where they can just sit back, roll hots, and focus on healing, or those where they can easily access their crowd control kit with a partner who can help set up cyclones. The strongest partner is an outlaw rogue, because, well, they allow you to do both. But depending on who you ask, Survival Hunter is also up there. As you're obviously a healer though, you would still do have a ton of very competitive options. Next up, we have Hunters, and this is probably the most streamlined class in terms of comp options inside of 2v2. Marksmanship, Beast Mastery, and Survival all look for the same thing from their partner, and that's one who can bring another form of crowd control on a different DR to Freezing Trap, so namely Fear and Cyclone from either Druids or Priests. Survival is the clear winner in terms of the strength out of the Hunter specs in 2v2 for obvious reasons, but Beast Mastery offers an easier but slightly weaker alternative. If you're against playing meta though, then MM still has had showings at higher rating levels. All three specs can also look to play double DPS, primarily when paired up with a rogue, but this is going to be a lot weaker, all things considered. Much like Hunter, Mage and its three specs, Frost, Fire, and Arcane, all look for the same trait in a 2's partner, that being additional crowd control, damage, and much needed stuns. The obvious standout partner as a result for all three specs is a Rogue, but if you prefer playing with a healer, Holy Priest still provides a very close alternative. Out of the three specs, Fire has the largest representation and greatest success inside of 2v2. But if you're a masochist, aka one of the few people playing Arcane or Frost Mage in 2v2, you might have a bit of a bad time no matter what. Moving on, our next spec is Mistweaver Monk. Mistweaver exploded in the later end of this season, seeing quite the resurgence and is one of the best healers for, well, just healing. As what Mistweavers lack in damage or crowd control, they make up for with throughput, and that's their main strength. So what you're looking for in a partner is a very self-sufficient spec, which doesn't necessarily need all that much help setting up kills. The best option is without a doubt Outlaw Rogue, but Fury Warrior, Unholy Death Knight, and especially Demon Hunters are all very strong alternatives. 
Windwalker, on the other hand, hasn't had the best of seasons in 2v2 due to its rough matchups into a lot of the popular specs. However, experienced Windwalkers are still making it work when paired up with a healer who provides an additional stun, so you're not just limited to playing around the long cooldown on leg sweep. The most common and strongest option comes as no surprise, and that's Holy Priest, for the additional damage and chastised stun. But Holy Paladin, and to a lesser extent Restoration Druid, can still pose viable but weaker alternatives. Up next, we've got Paladin, and in many ways, Holy Paladin plays the same role as a Holy Priest, but just a much weaker version. As a healer, though, there are still plenty of compositions you can slot into when it comes to 2v2. To no shock to anybody, the strongest remains to be Outlaw Rogue, but pretty much any high damage melee like Demon Hunter, Assassination Rogue, or Windwalker Monk all pose more than viable alternatives. Retribution is in a tricky spot inside of 2v2, being one of the few melee lacking a mortal strike effect, which as a result drastically hurts their viability. This means it's very difficult to maintain any level of consistent pressure, and instead you look to play around one shots and the best healer to help with this is a holy priest for their additional CC and damage during your goes. Due to their utility and healing, Retribution can however function in some obscure double DPS comps like Ret Feral or even Ret Fury to name a few. Next up, we've got Priests. Discipline has drastically dropped out of the meta in both 3v3 and 2v2, being replaced by Holy Priest. With that said, they still have some niche options in 2v2, where Disc provides some strong defensive tools and recent damage with Penance. The strongest option is with an Outlaw Rogue, but we've still seen glimpses of Disciplined Priests playing with Asa Rogues, Feral Druids, or even Survival Hunters. Holy, on the other hand, remains to be the most dominant healer inside of the bracket, which you may have already gathered from this list or just by playing yourself. Since it is the best healer in the game, that obviously gives them a ton of options, the strongest being either with an outlaw or survival depending on who you ask. Aside from those two, you can really play with any strong twos specs. Demonology Warlock, Sub Rogue, Feral Druid, or even BM Hunter, the world's your oyster. As a Shadow Priest, venturing into the 2v2 bracket may seem like an uphill battle. That being said, if you're a masochist, then playing with a Holy Priest will be your overall best option in terms of climbing rating, with Holy Paladin being a close second. Alternatively, if you prefer playing double DPS, you can pair up with most hybrids or even rogues and warlocks to form some relatively strong double DPS options. And with that, we move on to rogues. All three rogue specs have had a decent showing inside of twos, with the most common and strongest, of course, being Outlaw. Outlaw predominantly works best with Holy Priest and makes up one of the strongest twos comps, period, but realistically work with most healers to varying levels of success. Subtlety, on the other hand, is a little bit more limited and primarily have two main compositions, that being Sub Holy Priest or Sub Fire Mage. Assass is very similar to Outlaw, but just not quite as strong, so shares the same needs when it comes to a partner, with the best being Holy Priest, but with any other healer being able to work decently well. The Shaman class as a whole hasn't really had much of a showing this season in 2v2, and like most ranged classes, Elemental Shaman just isn't made for the bracket, despite their recent rise in popularity inside of 3v3. Although you can still have decent success with the Holy Priest, Restoration Druid, or even Mistweaver, you're still going to be in an unfavored matchup against almost all meta compositions. Enhancement, much like Retribution, lacks any form of healing reduction or moral strike effect, and as a result, this makes their consistent pressure very easy to deal with, but the offensive pressure of Holy Priest can indeed make up for this to some extent. In most cases, though, enhancements look to partake strictly in double DPS options, like with a Feral Druid, Ret Paladin, or even Rogue. The most viable of the three Shaman specs is Restoration Shaman. The perfect partner for our Shamans are aggressive melee damage dealers, where you can look to contribute with purges and interrupts to make quick work of enemy healers, most notably is with the Demon Hunter. Alternatively though, you could opt for any high damage melee, namely Outlaw, Assassination Rogues, or even Feral Druids. For our penultimate class, we've got Warlock. Demonology is one of the most dominant specs inside of 3v3 currently, and are the only ranged with a reliable moral strike, making them one of the best casters alongside Fire Mage when it comes to 2v2. For partners, the strongest right now is Holy Priest, but we've also seen Mistweaver, Holy Paladin, and even Restoration Druids have decent success. Since its nerfs and the adjustment to the Echoing Resolve Trinket destruction has become almost non-existent inside of 2v2 and suffers from easily being shut down by most of the meta options. No surprises though that if you're looking to play Destruction this season, then your best bet is going to be when paired up with a Holy Priest, but a Restoration Druid with Feral Affinity can also provide a weaker but still viable option. 
Finally, after the removal of Demon Armor, Affliction Warlocks have definitely been suffering. The only time that you see Affliction Warlock paired up with a healer is when playing with a Holy Priest. But due to a lot of very unfavorable matchups, we're now seeing Die Hard Affliction players instead look to double DPS options with things like Feral Druids or even Shadow Priests. And with that, we're left with our final class of the video, Warrior. Both Arms and Fury fit into the same compositions, with Fury obviously being the stronger of the two. Due to Holy Priest's inherent strength, they still make the best healers for warriors despite lacking any real synergy. But nonetheless, you can pretty much play with any healer bar, disciplined priest, most notably though is Mistweaver and Restoration Druid. And no matter what class you play, Skillcapped has you covered with a 250 rating gain guarantee while actively using our website. Every season, players just like you are able to achieve their goals within the Skillcap community. For only $4.99 a month, members get access to hundreds of class guides and over a thousand arena commentaries where pro players break down your toughest matchups. So what are you waiting for? Join over half a million lifetime users in the best learning experience WoW has to offer. Visit skillcap.com slash WoW to learn more. Anyway you guys, that about wraps it up for this one. We hope you found this video useful and we'll be back with another update once Season 4 is released, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay ahead of the meta. As always though, good luck with your end of season rating goals and thanks for watching.